Hello and welcome to African Brands. I'm glad that you can join me on the continuing episode of COVID-19 Business in Action, where we speak to decision makers and top players of indigenous brands in Africa with special focus to Nigeria. Stay tuned as we kickstart today's episode. I am Oyinye Chimoko. Patricia, Bitcoin made easy. Haven Homes, connoisseurs of luxury living and beautiful homes. Since 2006, we have been building beautifully crafted, unique masterpieces that everyone wants a piece of. At Haven Homes, we are renowned for the Richmond Gate Estate 1, which is known as the celebrity estate of Nigeria and even Africa. The reason I chose to work with Haven Homes for my investing, number one, because of their track record. You look around Lagos and you see the properties that they do from the location to the finishing, to the quality, to the functionality of the properties. Everything that they've done shows you that this is the top tier of luxury real estate at an affordable price. Now there's more than enough reason for you to visit www.thehavenhomes.com today. Haven Homes. Home is where the art is. Dr. Amieyo Ofori Felix, Chairman of Energy Hub Nigeria. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, my name is um, Dr. Amieyo Ofori. Felix. Um, I've been in the industry for more than 30 years, um, oil and gas industry for more than 30 years. Um, I, I started my career with Shell uh, in Port Harcourt and then um, retired um, as uh, MD CEO uh, just about uh, you know, three years ago for Energy Limited. I was MD CEO for nine years in NIGL Limited, and after that, um, I got into executive consulting um, with um, you know, indigenous companies to provide support at executive level, while also um, running Entech. Entech is the promoter of energy law. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm still very actively involved in the oil and gas. Um, our main driver is to be able to bring all stakeholders, all stakeholders in the oil and gas and in the broader energy system to, to a collaboration, to an interaction platform, especially now that we're in the digital world. To, to be able to bring everybody to interact. Our vision actually is to be the oil and gas Alibaba and oil and gas Amazon. Uh, because uh, we, we realize that this is one area that uh, is missing. A uh, country, Nigeria, we still do a lot of you know, interactions, physical interactions, people have to travel, People have to do this. We felt that you know we can reduce time, reduce business hours, and even offer opportunity to those who do not have the opportunity of traveling abroad to bring in you know technology, you know bring in financiers, bring in, and even within the country, uh, bring you know a marketing where you can sit on your desk and have access to whatever you need in the oil and gas and energy industry. Um, I, I think in every society, you know, the government has a lot of role to play, private people have a lot of role to play. The religious houses, the churches and the mosque also have a role to play. You want to see in a society, you need to, the parents, look, you have the parents, the school, the religious houses, and government. These are the four people you have. The parents do their education, the former schools do their education, the religious houses do their education, government. You understand? So if everyone is playing his role, 
the tendency for get quick rich will reduce. To somebody and he said, Felix, you know, people want to employ, he said, until you have two one and first class, they won't employ you. And I've had the privilege of interviewing some first class and some two one. And I wish they were two two. They were not two one. They've also brought down the academic standard so low that everybody has a certificate without what to use the certificate for. You understand? Because everybody wants to be on the first lane. They encourage idleness. Because if the politicians are really there to represent our interests, why would they allow youth to just hang out and then during campaign, they enter their boat and bicycles and their plane and go campaign and kill themselves? So that is the fifth factor. Yeah, my name is Uti Francis. I head a content department at Entech Energy Hub, NG. And what we do here is we try as much as possible to capture the energy space, document the experiences, the transactions, and basically everything in the energy of value chain. So what we are doing is including the marketplace, the people like academia, people in research, everything that has to do with energy in the world, but of course we are starting with Africa. And what we are doing is we are using content, the content department of Energy Hub is trying to capture that experience for the transactions. So whatever we document, we share with the audience to help them influence their decisions, their investment decisions, for people who want to invest in Africa, for people who are looking at meeting their customers, bridging the connection with investor, buyer-seller relationship, basically everything that has to do with energy, we're capturing that and sharing it with the world here on Energy Hub Content Department. Guys, my name is Mercy Okolese, the CEO of Mercy's Spa and Beauty Place. I would like to show you our new spa located at Igbeda. For advanced spa treatment and rejuvenating therapies. Come, let me show you. Hey man, how's your leave going? Man, I feel so reluctant resuming at the office. Because of this, my skin problem. Everyone enjoys teasing me at the office. 
Nothing seems to give me that pop. Every product just lightens me up. Really? So what do you do to maintain your skin tone? Have you tried VSP? VSP? Have they got products for men? Mm-hmm. Improve your glow with the new VSP Melanin Bloom and experience your body cream at its finest. VSP Botanics. Dazzle all year round. Olami Day Williams, Chief Executive Officer, Sweet Indulgence. Sweet Indulgence was incorporated in 2010 by a team of passionate individuals with specialty in sugar craft masterpieces, malt water desserts, and cakes for all occasions. Well, our brand is very unique in the sense that our cakes are usually beautifully crafted. We pay attention to details and not just the beauty of the cake, but also the taste of the cake because we believe that cakes should not just be beautiful on the outside, but very tasty and it should be indulgent. Okay, basically, for, uh, when coronavirus came, it was, it was more like a shock to everybody. Nobody planned for it. Nobody expected it. So I think in business, we should learn to be spontaneous we should learn to adapt. For example, in my own line of business, we make wedding cakes, dessert caterings, and there were no events. In my own line of business, which is cake making, I had to go back to the drawing board. People don't need wedding cakes at this moment. People don't need dessert catering at this moment. What do people need? So I had to adapt my business into, I had to, I had to engage in some other activities that I know will sell at that point. For example, pastries. For example, bread. Everybody wants to eat bread. Coronavirus or not, people will still eat on a daily basis. So you need to learn to be adapt and be spontaneous. The digital age is um, quite amazing because from the comfort of your home of your, or your offices, you can actually reach a very large audience. For example, we have a lot of platforms where you can showcase yourself. Instagram is there, Facebook is there, um, your website is also there, even mobile apps. So the digital age is quite important for businesses. The relevance of our innovations is that um, our masterpieces make your events memorable ones. So even if you don't make masterpieces from us, the dessert catering, for example, the taste, you know, and our indulgence, you know, and our impeccable service will always make your event a memorable one. Our wedding cakes, for example, is one of the highlights of the day because the groom and bride get to stand behind the cake and take pictures that will last forever. So that's um, one of the importance of our innovations. Another one is we are an employer of labor, which I think is very, very important in Nigeria of today. Employment, because we have a high rate of unemployment in Nigeria. Um, secondly, empowerment. Um, quite a number of people have trained and interned with us and they are now on their own, you know, doing their own businesses. Um, the third one is social responsibility. Sometimes we reach out to one or two people to assist. So basically those three for now. To run a business in Nigeria, you need perseverance. Um, you need to be focused. You need to be goal-oriented. You also need to, um, I would say, you need to be passionate. You need to be passionate about what you do. You need to be passionate about it. Now, in my line of business, you need to be creative. You need to be artistic. You need to be spontaneous. So many ingredients that you need to run a business in my field. The 
In terms of staff strengths, um, I'm looking at a larger number of staff, more branches, and of course, for us to have more product lines. Make a tell you what in apple for a bully. Body's big party inside my bullet. Ah, oh shit, I get what? What am I was down there? I say, let me come and see if, uh, if everything is okay. I tried changing my Bitcoin and I got scammed again. Ah, haven't you heard of AJ Global Ventures? No. They buy and sell Bitcoin and they exchange your gift card at the best rate. Mm -hmm. As to speak right now, they introduced app that is on Play Store, which makes trading very, very easy. Are you sure about that? <laughs> You are testing and trusted. If you... Ah, just like that. Oh, thank you so much for the information. Your number at least. Sorry, I don't give my number to strangers. Oh, no problem. I respect women. I respect thank your decision. You. Alright, take care. Life is not easy, my brother. You can find your own. Me, I can find my own. Blessing Onigogi, Chief Executive Officer, Raba Skincare and Spa. Okay, um, Raba Skincare and Spa, we're into organic skincare products and, we're, and we also run different type of spa services. Yeah, such as, um, okay, let me start from the skincare. We have um, skincare products for all skin types, dark skin, caramel skin, um on the yellow tone and yellow tone i actually don't do white tone because um i believe in natural i don't like anything white so most of my majority of my clients just i just deal with um making and achieving a healthy glowing skin tone so that's it and the spa services we, we do pedicure all types of facials um breast and boots enlargement massage all types of massage and so on and so forth so that's just it what is unique about um, rubber skincare spa like i said earlier my um i'm not actually after what um, other people do i um i love to see your skin looking beautiful not looking whitish and damaged because um most skin are damaged all because of um, i want to be white overnight make three days whitening seven days i don't do three days whitening i don't do seven days whitening so um majority of my products works like gradually so mild and consistency do you understand so uh, you can't use my product and you tell me within um one to two weeks you want to be white i'll tell you no please i don't sell that but within the range of 20 21 days and above i assure you a ld and glowing skin i'm not saying a white skin because most people believe in white skin but i believe in you know you can see my skin i just my skin is just there beautiful yummy yeah so that's just it that's it <laughs> oh that okay yeah i think um the best part is it for me because during the corona um pandemic i was let's just say my business actually um i had a lot of sales than i did when there was nothing because though you know most people were indoor there's no outing and then it really helped my business positively i don't know about others but mine like it really helped my brand grow and you know even during the pandemic i made so much i couldn't talk about like so much my brand was well known i sent as an with dhl was picking here and there um within nigeria deliveries and we, it was it was awesome so it really affected my business positively not negatively and so that's all i could say about covid19 oh, oh that question yeah we are ready to adapt to the um digital phase because most of our orders have been placed online we do nationwide delivery because uh, most of my clients are um i have 70 percent of my clients abroad why 20 percent of them in nigeria so how do i get to them digital phase has really helped my brand a lot promoting um on youtube google facebook instagram <laughs> it has really done well to me so yeah uh, my brand is not actually after um, um um running into what others are doing yeah so i like to help people achieve a ld and glowing skin you know there's a different thing between achieve a ld and glowing skin and having a whiter skin you know yeah so um i think most people nowadays are now saying hey, Robert, please i want my skin to be beautiful i hardly 
um get client like ah, i want to be white no she, so um i think um my, my product don't damage skin no so i think it's a way of um adding adding more to the health or beauty um sector so we are all about helping achieving the elder skin that's all i could say my products are effective you can see me i'm not white i'm the ceo and my skin is yummy so <laughs> i think um with hunger because the rate of hunger this this it's, it's very alarming so i help with the little i could and on employment i have a lot of staff here and on my egbeda branch i um, and I train my staff, you know, training, <laughs> I, um, I get a lot of money in training, but you know, I train them for free because I know even, if, even after they, um, they are no longer working with me, they can still, they can still work with what I've taught them. And, um, cons even, um, other parts of my skincare brand, um, I help a lot of people. I've helped a lot, lot of people in the past and even presently to, for instance, maybe I help them with my products to resell. So like I'm dashing them everything. So the little income they are having, they're coming back to me to pay. And but you know they're having a source of income, and it has been awesome. You know, um, I'm just doing my own best in my home part. So I think that's it. Number one is hard work. Um, you know, you have to be hardworking to make everything in especially in the skincare um industry because we have a lot of competitors and and all that so um then you have passion for what you are doing because skincare can be crazy for instance okay you can do a production and you make a mistake so the old mistake will spoil all of your production just imagine you spent over half half a million or up to a million on the production and you have to litter like you have to dispose all in the name of so you know but um the passion will make you want to do more so the passion you um you have for what you do will make you want to go ahead will make you want to relax or or give up so i think that's just it hard work passion and consistency you know um i started about three years ago i remember when i started i started from my bedroom i had just a little um drawer and you know i uh, i have i sell glow soap from from there you know god has been awesome and i had my first spa second spa you know just like that so that question <laughs> oh yeah it's a good question so um i uh, like i'm already seeing my brand like 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 i'm known worldwide like it's going to be a very big brand you know room wasn't built a day anyway so when i started three years ago where i was 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 definitely different from where i am presently so in the next five years i'm seeing myself as a big complaint like coca-cola for instance it's a big complaint so i'm seeing myself like not just a little brand like a complaint that will have um a lot of you know definitely a lot of award to come alongside because to compensate my hard work and my achievement so i think that's just i'm seeing myself like worldwide not just nigeria not just us what i mean in whole countries nationwide so that's my um aim i pray god help me so <laughs> Special Documentary Report on the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria Mazi Sam Ihabungwa, President of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria has interest in ensuring that this chain works seamlessly. Special Documentary Report on the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria to provide certain products that be useful in managing COVID-19 and other infectious Diseases. Special documentary report from the Suitable Society of Nigeria. Watch out! Udoka Ngosu, Chief Executive Officer, Yudoka Skincare. Okay, um, Yudoka um, creates innovative skincare products and services that solve skin issues. Um, I would say in details that Yudoka is a family um, focused skin solution brand that creates natural skincare products using plants, butters, oils, and botanical extracts you know to create products that are chemical safety free you know products that are, are, are wholesome and products that you don't need to be conscious about you know whether there is one chemical thing or the other in it um yudokas creates our latest collection is yudokas lekota collection um which basically shea butter african black soap 
lotions, uh, so bars, um, cleansers, and many other you know in the in the collection. We also run a skin clinic where we do um, spa services and also a beauty institute. Well, our products are formulated to treat, maintain, you know, perform um, healing therapy and also we actually um, um, try to um, carry out sustainable development goals 3, 5 and 8 because I believe it's all about giving, giving back. You know, your success cannot be complete until we know how many people that you've impacted. So if you check um, the people that we employ, my team is made up of mostly women. I believe that when women move forward, the world moves with them. It's just a natural thing for me. So um, if you call me a female advocate, I don't know. But when you say entrepreneurial female advocate, probably. I try to mentor a lot of people, in, a lot of women in business. I'm a mentor for Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry and to the Nimili Foundation. So it's a joy for women to actually thrive and grow. Um, Shea butter is one of our integral, integral parts of Yudokas and African black soap. And so the more shea butter and the more black soap that we buy from these women, it actually means that they have much more money to take care of their family needs. You know, and then most of them will not be um, needing to sell out their children in marriage very, very early. Yes, that's what we see. You, you, you might feel that we are in the city, but when you go down to those places and spend time with, that, with them, like I usually do, you know, we are, I, I, I'm, I'm a member of a co-op group, a um, cooperative group, and we actually empower these women, um, finance these women for them to actually make um, our specifications. So um, the goal is, is not just for us to carry these things and sell and shine, but they need to shine too. Dark Ampit. No problem. Toby Makeovers has got you covered with our intimate product to help you get rid of dark underarm, dark tie, and offensive odor, razor bombs in your intimate area. At Toby Makeovers, we help you restore your self confidence. On this note, we call it a wrap on today's episode of COVID-19 Business in Action. You can join us same time, same station next week. You can also send us a mail via info at africanbrands.com. The COVID virus is still very much on the loose, so protect yourself by putting on a face mask and washing your hands frequently. And remember that here at African Brands, your business in combination with our brand solution equals your success. I am Onye Chimuko. Thank you for joining us.